welcome back to my channel. Today I have my very long overdue um, kind of full initial Kiki K setup tour. I know I've kind of gone over this planner a little bit and what I have in it in a couple other videos, but I've added more since I filmed my full planner's 2016 setup tour for you. And I wanted to give you guys a more in-depth look at exactly what I'm using this planner for. So before we get started, for those of you who are curious, I'm actually not wearing my engagement ring today because it is off um, getting appraised and getting some work done. I'll go a little more into that into my in my next um, wedding updates video. But for now, I'm just wearing my promise ring again for a week until I get my ring back. So if that interests you, there it is. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. Um, so I have the large mint perforated Kiki K. I got it for Christmas and I've talked about it in a couple other videos So I know you guys probably already know that this is my everyday personal planner um, I use it mostly to keep track of my daily to do's, but I also use it to organize a bunch of other um, Things for my personal life So I have my you know business planners and then I have this planner to keep most of my personal life organized This is my very first ring bound a5 size planner and I I have to say, I am absolutely in love with this planner setup. I'm thinking about changing a bunch of my other planners over into this format because I am just, I'm head over heels with the size, with the, you know, ability to customize it with the rings. I just, I love it so much. And especially the Kiki K details. I, I want to get all the Kiki Ks. I love them so much. I think they're gorgeous. <laughs> so yeah, so I've been loving this planner and here's what it looks like on the inside as of now. I've been playing around with decorating the pockets in this planner a little bit. Um, I've never really been too big into the whole you know, pocket decorating thing. I always, I love it, I love seeing it on Instagram, but I personally have just never gotten around to really taking the time to set up any of my pockets because I'm a very functional planner. I don't do too much of um, kind of extraneous decoration for no reason and so it's been a little difficult for me <laughs> trying to figure out a way to make this cute and functional. but. I'm slowly slowly adding, you know, things in here and there. It's not completely finished up here, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. So right now I have this cute little washi sample strip that um, was actually gifted to me in a little pen pal uh, rack type of exchange thing. And then behind in the second pocket, I have a couple of notes pages that are from the Target dollar spot. And I think the pink and the mint and the gray design of this notes pages goes perfectly with my planner theme. I love it. And so I wanted to include a couple up here. And then paper clip to that, I have a couple of tiny little pictures of my dog Dakota. And that's been making me smile every time I open my planner. I really enjoy seeing that. And I have a Kate Spade bow paper clip holding that together. And then I also have another little ribbon paper clip on this side just for decoration because it's mint and it matches and it's cute. Again, this was a gift from another um, planner friend, actually <laughs> from planner friend on Instagram. I haven't done too much up here. Um, I took out the little notepads that came in the Kiki K's that were slipped in these pockets, but I haven't quite figured out exactly what I want to add in here yet. I was thinking of trying to maybe dangle something down here that's kind of attached to some cards slipped into there. But I haven't quite figured that out yet, so for now it's just blank and when it comes to me I'll add it in or it'll just stay blank. I'm not too picky about my pockets like I said before. And behind here, right now I just have a single notes page that kind of helps me keep track of what sections I have in my binder and has um, some brainstorming about additional things I might want to add in in the future. And so I just kind of keep that there for reference and I think it's a fun little pop of gold peeking out the top pocket. And if you remember from my initial Kiki K tour when I kind of did a little, you know, not unboxing but kind of um, initial thoughts walkthrough of it, I talked about a couple of accessories I wanted to include in my planner, one of which was this cute little um, mint cupcake charm from Shea Boo Crafts. And, um, I started off by kind of hooking it into this ring here so that it would dangle down in the middle of the rings and I, I loved it. I thought it was the cutest thing and I thought it was the perfect little spot for it. Unfortunately, after like closing my planner up and reopening it, the charm had like slipped behind the rings and I was afraid it would either damage my planner or damage the charm and so I took it out and I haven't really figured out exactly how to include it in this planner. I really want to have it in here but I'm just not sure how. So if you have any ideas for me, please let me know in the comments. I I mean, I love this whole thing. It's so cute and it, it seems like it's like made for this planner. 
I just need to figure out how to get it in here. So let me know your ideas. I'd love to hear them. Other than that, the last accessory I have stored in here is my white pen gems. Um, another Christmas gift. This one was from Melissa. I absolutely love this pen. So much so that I used up the ink in under a month. <laughs> so it's actually just sitting here looking pretty for now. I need to um, get around to ordering another gel ink replacement for this pen, but I think it just looks gorgeous sitting in the pen loop there. So I keep it there as decoration until I can actually start using it again. <laughs> and now on to the bulk of the planner. I decided to keep the original divider tabs in the planner, but I didn't really like the um, pre-labeled sections they had, I think on the first three. And so what I did is I took out all the dividers and I actually flipped them over so they're backwards. So this used to be the front divider, but now it's, you know, the last divider. And so it gives me a nice clean slate to work with. I was thinking about labeling them with my own labels, but I've actually been kind of liking having them blank. And with the reference that I mentioned up in here for which section correlates to, you know, which section, it, it hasn't been too difficult finding the section that I needed without them labeled. And so I think I might keep them blank so I can kind of rearrange things and reuse these label or these dividers if I ever do want to, you know, change around my planner in the future. Okay, my very first section is my daily to-do list section. And this is what I use the most. I use this section every single day. I have my very own um, custom-made inserts in here that I've been thinking about maybe listing in my Etsy shop, but I'm not sure. I used to focus a lot on inserts, but I have recently kind of moved more into stickers with the Merit Elizabeth shop. So, I don't know, let me know if you're interested in these types of inserts. You'll see them throughout my whole planner, and if I get enough of a response, I'll list them on Etsy. Otherwise, I don't know. So, yeah, let me know. Um, but anyways, back to the today section. I have these today pages, which have three little sections of to-do lists, and I use them to section out the different kind of categories of my life, I guess. I have um, the top section I use for personal tasks, the middle I use for Etsy shop tasks, and the bottom I use for blog and YouTube. And then at the very bottom, I have a little notes section, which I use to just jot down any notes I might need to throughout the day. I don't know. I don't use this section too much, but I have actually found it useful a couple of times. Usually I use post-its, but I still like having this there as the op as an option. And then again, obviously at the top, I write in, you know, the date. <laughs> and another tip I love and I use throughout this planner is um, I, paper, or I bind, use a little binder clip to attach any kind of previous day's to-do lists right to the divider. So, you know, in the morning I can just take the divider tab and flip it over and I'm right to today's to-do list. And I don't have to kind of, you know, flip through a million different, you know, past days to get to my current to-do list. It makes it a million times easier and I just, I love this system. I've been using it in my planner for years and I can't ever see not using it. So. There's a little tip for you guys. All right, in the next section, I have all of my lists, starting with my master to-do list. I also have this cute little additional divider in here. It's from Pell Studio. Um, it's not too functional at the moment because, you know, I have my main divider, but I just think it's cute, and so I wanted to include it in here. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> So yeah, this section is for all of my lists. I have my master to-do list, a bucket list. Some of these, I have, as you can see, I haven't filled out all the way, but I have them kind of set up so as I can think of things, I'll just add them right in and that page is ready to go. And yeah, I have it ready. <laughs> so I have a bucket list, I have a wish list, an Etsy wish list, beauty wish list, skincare wish list. <laughs> And then I have shows to watch, book, movies to watch, books to read. And then I have a list of baby products I want to remember. And no, I'm not pregnant, I just got engaged. But I'm the type of person I like to be super prepared and I keep, I follow all these, you know, mommy bloggers and mommy YouTubers that mention all these great products that I want to remember for when I do have kids. And so I thought it'd be nice to kind of have a central list to kind of just jot down these things so that I can remember them whenever the time comes. <laughs> and yeah, I know that's a little funny to some, but I, I just feel better knowing that I won't forget these awesome products and stuff that I, I do want to remember. And so I just, I like having that there. All right, next up I have my financial section and I have a couple things blocked off for obvious reasons, but I'll do my best to kind of show you how I use it. The first page I have in here is a bill tracker. And the way I have it set up is I'll list my bills in this column to the left, and then I have another column for each month. I have groups of three months, so I have July through September, and then October through December. And on the front of this page is January through uh, June, but, you know, I'm using that, so here's the second half of the year. But um, at the beginning of each month, I'll write in 
the amount due for each bill and then once that bill is paid I can just check it off and so it's a nice at a glance way to see you know which bills I've paid which I haven't and kind of you know, keep track of them so I don't miss a payment. I've used a couple different um, kind of versions of this type of page and I'm, I'm really liking how this is set up currently and so I think I'll keep using this for quite a while. I also think the cuteness with the hearts and the, you know, light gray and dotted borders just kind of adds a fun little element to it and so it just makes it more enjoyable to use since it's cute. And I think that's a very important part, at least for me, in planning because I do get so much joy out of cute office supplies, cute planners, and so, yeah, I like making things cute. <laughs> I don't know, there's a little mini tangent for you. <laughs> um, and then over here I have a couple of debt tracking pages and the way these work, I have one for each of you know my credit cards, Melissa's credit cards, any kind of debt that we have. I just kind of like to keep a general eye on it so balances don't go too high and I can kind of keep you know an eye on how we're paying things off, how we're you know accumulating debt or just keep an eye on it and be aware because that's always such a good idea if you carry any sort of debt you need to know where your finances stand and so um for each page i'll write the you know credit card or whatever at the top and at the beginning of each month i'll write down the starting balance for that card and then at the end of the month i'll write down any interest that was accrued any payments that were made and then the ending balance and so again throughout the year this gives me a really nice overview of how our you know credit cards are standing up and just keeping an eye on things. I have really liked this system. It's kind of new for me and I've really been enjoying using it. Next up, I have my notes section and currently it's blank. A lot of the times I'll kind of write notes here and either just throw it out once I don't need them anymore or move it into a different section that it applies to. And so this just stays pretty much empty and full of blank lined pages most of the time. Next up is my home section and this is just for anything having to do with our home, the apartment, whatever. Um, Melissa and I are looking to buy a house in the next year, and so I listed out a couple of our kind of top wish list items on this pages to kind of keep in mind when looking for a house. I also have a list of things that we need to buy for the apartment or replace or just kind of random things, more than, you know, like cleaning supplies, which would go more on a shopping list, but kind of, um, you know, like you know, a laundry hamper, just stuff that we need to, you know, replace or get. <laughs> and then I also have a cleaning section within my home section, and I actually made this adorable divider from a file folder that was available in the Target Dollar Spot a while ago. It came in a pack of, I think, five, and I just cut it down to size, clearly not very well. I kind of messed up down here, but, um, and I used the kind of tab that came with the folder as my divider tab. I added a little washi tape on the side, honestly, because I kind of, again, messed up punching the holes to get it in the binder, but I think this washi tape adds such an adorable little pop of design and additional color and interest. I got the idea from Julie from Plan to Create. She's on Instagram and YouTube. I'll link to her in the description box because I think she's amazing. And yeah, I, I love how these dividers turned out. And yeah, <laughs> so this one's for cleaning within home, like I said. The first page lists out all of my quarterly tasks. I like to do quarterly cleaning um, every three months, so like January 1st, April 1st, etc. And so I have them all listed out here so I don't forget anything. Um, this is very brand new. This is the first year I'm kind of testing out this system, and so I'm still kind of tweaking it, and I might add additional... Um, tasks kind of as I think of them but for now this is what I try and aim to do every three months again not perfect but this is my goal and then I have a bunch of these little pages which are kind of dual notes pages so I can have kind of sectioned off little notes that might not need a full notes page but yeah you get the idea <laughs> and so I have a bunch of kind of cleaning instructions on these types of pages um, as you can see I have a uh, directions for deep cleaning our towels and for making my own DIY silver polish. And then on the back I have directions for cleaning my Clarisonic. Um, I do have a bunch of more stuff that I kind of want to go through and add in here and I just plan on using this as a reference. If I ever, you know, say, oh, how do I clean my Clarisonic monthly? I just kind of have directions right here. Some of the stuff, again, it'll become habit and I won't really need to um, reference this as often. But other things, since I don't do those tasks very often, I forget my preferred method for cleaning something. And so I like having this 
ready and with all of my directions if I need them. I'm also starting to make a lot of my own home cleaners and so I'm gonna put the recipes or I guess directions, whatever you like to call them, in this section so whenever I need to make a new batch of like, you know, my glass cleaner or all-purpose cleaner, I can have that ready here instead of having to go back online and look up the um, directions there. It's just all right here. Next up is my wedding section and this basically holds anything that has to do with my wedding. I have another little Hell Studio acrylic uh, divider in here that says love with little hearts and I think that's just adorable so I wanted to include that. I have a wedding to-do list. Um, as I've kind of mentioned before, I have a whole other wedding planning system with a binder and another calendar and so I'm not exactly sure still how I'll be, I'll end up using this to you know, in conjunction with the rest of my wedding planning, but I like having this section set up as you can see, I have a couple of things in here ready to go and to be used. I have been using this wedding to-do list as I kind of think of my, you know, to focus on next tasks, I'll write them in here and so I can kind of keep at a glance what I need to do, you know, actual tasks I can do right now when I get a chance and I have, you know, a couple of them checked off as I complete them. And then I have a wedding to buy list. Again, I haven't filled this one out, but I do have a couple of things in mind that I know we definitely want to purchase for the wedding. And so once I get a chance, I'll fill, that, I'll, uh, fill those out on this page. Next up, I have a wedding wish list of a couple of things that I've seen at different stores that I'm pretty sure I want to buy, but I also kind of want to compare to other options out there. Um, I know I want to get the Southern Weddings Marriage Certificate, so that'll probably go on the... Um, to buy list, actually pending making sure it doesn't say husband and wife on there because that wouldn't really work for us and I didn't really think that through before. So hopefully it is kind of a neutral wedding marriage certificate because I think it's gorgeous. It's like gold foil and it's all, you know, calligraphy and scripty and it's, I've wanted it forever. So I'll have to check into that, but pending that, <laughs> we will definitely be getting that as a decorative marriage certificate. And then I just have some, you know, wedding notes. I have some, um, what I plan to share in my next wedding update, which will be coming up soon for those of you who are following along with my wedding planning. I've been getting quite a few things done, and so I have enough content to finally film another one, and I'm really excited to kind of share all that with you. And then finally, my last section is my newest section, and this is my personal section. This is, um, not fully set up, but kind of the, you know, started. I want to use this kind of for more personal, um, beauty things. So you can see here I have one of my favorite DIY masks, the directions written down for making that. Um, I also, I want to, you know, include all of my other DIY beauty thing directions in here. And I think I also want to kind of write out a beauty routine to kind of, I don't know, just have that. <laughs> and I have a full kind of intense face mask uh, directions thing for how you can really get the most out of your face masks. I just, I found it online, I thought it would be fun to include in this section, so I wrote it out and added it in. And then I have some notes, which honestly I don't really need, but they're there. <laughs> um, I also want to add into this section um, another subdivider for personal goal tracking, um, both for short-term and long-term goals. I think I might add a kind of daily routine task tracker in there so I can check off I don't know, habits I'm trying to form, like, you know, yoga. I've been trying to start doing yoga forever now. And so I might try and add something like that in here, um, something for tracking long-term goals and kind of so I can break it down into shorter, manageable um, chunks that I can tackle. But yeah, so that's kind of how this section is starting. And then the last thing I have in here is another little divider, again, made from those um, tar Target Dollar Spot file folders. This one, I just used the part without the divider. And again, I added a little bit more washi and um, a strip that I cut off from this uh, sheet thing because it was a little too long and I just kind of glued it back up here. You can see it's the pattern from the back. I just glued it back up here to add another little thing of interest and dimension. I think it's fun. And so this is my back flyleaf that I use to easily um, close up my planner. I just grab it and kind of pull everything so that the pages don't, well, do that, <laughs> so that they, you know, stay straight when I close the uh, close the planner. And I just found that having something hard and solid in the back makes that easier than just having, you know, regular thin planner pages. And then finally, the last thing, I have this notebook or, you know, notepad, whatever you want to call it, that came with the planner slipped into the back pocket. 
I haven't used this. I don't think I ever will. Again, I have my notes section if I do need to write down notes. So, I don't know. I just kept it there just because it's there, but I don't know. <laughs> and so, that pretty much finishes it up. I hope you guys liked getting this thorough uh, kind of initial setup walkthrough tour of my Kiki K. I enjoyed sharing it with you guys as always. If you have any questions about my planner setup, um, leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely get back to you guys. I love hearing from you in the comments. It truly makes my day every single time I hear from you guys. If you want to see a little bit more about this planner, you can check out the coordinating blog post. I always have those linked in the description box below. I'll just have some more pictures for you guys over there and uh, a couple more details in the post if you are interested and want a closer look. So definitely check that out. If you liked this video, I'd love if you give it a thumbs up. Up. Um, other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.